So when the waiter's down, the Orioles are going to turn to Craig Tatum. And for more on the situation behind the plate, let's check in now with Amber Theo Harris. Good evening, Amber. <laughs> good evening, Tom. Well, Rick is right. It is a difficult injury to recover from. But the good news is the Orioles say they are expecting Matt Wieters to be back July 25th. That is when he's eligible to come off of the disabled list. Now, as Rick alluded to as well, Matt was starting to come on. So this is a little bit of an ill-opportune injury. He was batting 310 in his last 10 games. So we'll see if he's able to pick up where he left off in just a couple, about a week and a half from now. In the meantime, as Tom said, we are going to see Craig Taylor him do most of the catching duties well Jake Fox will spell him every three or four days or so and Craig has never played back-to-back -back games before this year in the major leagues as far as starting at catcher he did it for the first time on Saturday and Sunday in Texas so now he's going to be asked to play consecutive games and he and I had a chance to sit down and chat a bit about his new job he was telling Matt I like my job but uh you know, whenever you get a chance to come in and play, you just got to show that, uh, you know, that you can that you can belong, you know, uh, when people are seeing you on a consistent basis. And you say you like your job and your job really was to come in, call the good game when he was out and play defense. Now, do you feel a little more pressure to put up offensive numbers as an everyday player? Yeah, because uh, with his bat out of the lineup, I might have to step in and, you know, just do whatever I can. If it's getting a guy over or getting a guy in, I might have to do it, you know, because uh, we've, we've been playing well lately and we want to keep the streak going and I might definitely have to hit, you know, it's not just come in one day, call a good game and, you know, go over. But, you know, right now I'm going to have to step up and, uh, you know, hopefully just show everybody that I can hit. A lot of people don't realize, they, they think, okay, our starting catcher is out, and he's the one that has to rapport with the pitchers. But a lot of people don't realize the backup catcher has a lot of sessions behind the scenes. How comfortable do you feel with these, these pitchers and this staff? Uh, I feel really comfortable, you know, catching the relievers in the bullpen during the games, and then uh, I talk to the, you know, the starting pitchers a lot. So just knowing what they feel comfortable with and uh, certain counts and all that, it's, uh, it's helped me just, you know, communicating with them throughout the season. So I feel very comfortable with all of them. So Craig Tatum will hold down the fort until Matt Weider's return that is expected to be July 25th. But here is why the Orioles want to see Matt come back quickly. These are not the numbers they want to see from him. He was starting to emerge at the end of the first half. They want to see these numbers improve. He had just a 245 average with six homers, 29 RBIs, and 10 doubles. So they're expecting him to have a very strong half. They just want him to get healthy first. Now I should say that uh, Jake Fox will spell Craig Tatum about every three days as I said before. So what we'll see is probably Jake Fox catch this Sunday and then the middle of the week next week there is a day game for the Orioles. We'll see Jake Fox step in there. And this does change the role that the Orioles have for Jake Fox. Remember he's been very productive as a pinch hitter off of the bench for Juan Samuel and Juan said today that he's going to be a little more reluctant to use Jake in those situations because he is now the backup catcher and they can't afford to put him in the game as a pinch hitter. They might need him in an emergency as a backup catcher, Tom.